I'm your girl Raven with your girl TV, and I have a very special guest, the young, talented Miss Aria Brooks. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. First, let me just give you your props, girl. You are out here doing the thing. And how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14. Oh my gosh, girl. Well, listen, you are out here doing it and I know you're inspiring other 14 year olds. And if you guys have not seen Miss Brooks, she is one of the cast members of All That, which has resurfaced, rebooted from years ago, back, back when I was a kid. <laughs> and, and now it's, it's back again. Like, how does it feel to be part of such a, a legendary show? Well, first, thank you. And second, that it just feels really, really good. Like all the opportunities I've gotten, the people I've gotten to meet, the show itself is like super funny and fun to be a part of. And like to be able to continue that legacy that like is continuing after so many years, that's really crazy and super unbelievable. And I'm super grateful and blessed that I got this opportunity. So I love it. That's awesome. What was the casting process like? Like, did you already know what the show was pre before you auditioned or? Were you just like, oh, this seems interesting? Or, or you were like, oh, I know exactly what this show used to be. Like, oh, this is something that's right for me. <laughs> well, like before the show, like I'd seen the Good Burger movie like a few times and I definitely heard of it. And then I realized that I'd seen clips from the review. Like since I joined halfway through the season, I'd seen like the first half of the season, like some clips of it. So. And then my mom knew what it all was because she grew up on the original. So she knew and our information combined, we kind of put that in. And then like the casting process, um, I got the audition and my mom was super excited. I was super excited. Like, oh, this is all that, it's crazy. And then um, the first audition, I had to come up with like a couple sketch characters, um, three to five. And then I had to do the lines that they, or record myself doing the lines that they sent. I did all of that, which, or I did all that. Um, and then that was I, I, like that, like that, like that. I was like, oh, let's take this opportunity. Yes. And then we sent that in and that was that. And then a couple days later, I got asked for the callback, um, which required me to fly out to California. So the first one was a self tape I did from home. And then this one I had to go in person. Um, so which I miss in-person auditions so much now. But um, we went in person and it was in front of the casting directors and all that producers. So that was really fun. I basically did the same thing with a few minor changes just mm -hmm. to spice it up a little bit because right, the right. already solved the same thing. Right. Um, and then a couple days later, they asked me to come in again for the third and final audition, which is the screen test. And then they told me shortly after that I got the job. Oh, yeah. Exciting. That is so exciting. I know your mom is so proud of you. Yes, I, she's very supportive of everything. That's that's so amazing. It's so important to have, you know, parents in your circle that are supporting you through everything that you do, especially at such an age that you are, a young age where you're experiencing um, things. So yes, congrats, congrats. So who is your favorite character that you play? Because I know you play like uh, different characters. Yeah, um, I think my... It would have to be, ooh, no, I just thought of another one. Okay, so my top, can I give you like my top two or three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, two, top two is good. Or top three is good. It seems like you got another one in there. Yeah. Okay. okay, so my top three are definitely when I played, I did an impersonation of Rihanna. That whole sketch was a lot of fun, but like being able to play her was super duper fun. And then um, I did like a grandma character. Her name's Lorraine, which I actually did that in my second and third audition. So oh, nice. I got put on the show and she's really funny and then my character Eureka who she's definitely a favorite of mine because I like or everything about it but especially the costumes and makeup and stuff wow that's so awesome where do you get your inspiration like where do you pull it from well my inspiration is comes from a lot of different places but I think a lot of times it comes from my mom and my parents yeah. well my parents my family my friends like all of them who are always supporting me because like all of them have sacrificed a lot for me. Um, it's just been like a really long get to this place and a lot of sacrifice has gone into it. So it inspires me that they've sacrificed so much. So I that's like my motivation, my inspiration that gets me through definitely. And then also like one celebrity that inspired me a lot is Zendaya because she started oh, yeah. started off like at a really young age, similar to how I did. Yes, that definitely. And, and look at her now, she's on the cover. I think, what was she just on the cover of? Uh, I wonder if it was 
the I magazine. have the magazine. I just don't. Yeah. Oh, it. oh, GQ. That's what you was on the cover of GQ. Yeah, yeah. It was a, a really good. We just did an article on it. So yeah, she she's definitely came a long way. So you know, and you got time, girl. This is just the beginning. Like, yes. You have, you have so many more opportunities that the universe is going to open to you. Um. So speaking of other opportunities i know that although you are an actress um you also sing as well i just saw your throwback that you posted um of you doing karaoke <laughs> so <laughs> um, but you also released a song um at a time when america was at its lowest um um am i next you know and and i thought it was such a powerful music video and a, a powerful message uh what made you speak out in regards to black lives matter and telling the world that you know your voice needs to be heard yeah well I definitely feel like I it was a mixture of different things mainly I was like scared and like really go back a little bit I write songs whenever I feel anything so I write songs about pretty much everything in my life because it's like my therapy mm -hmm. um so I was in this period like I was like scared because I was like people are losing their lives for the color of their skin and like yeah. that could me I could be next and that really scared me so I decided I wanted to write a song about it and I wanted to sit down write about it and get this message out because I feel like a lot of times it's we talk about like oh stop killing us we shouldn't this isn't how it should be it's not fair and I wanted to take it on from an approach of like this is scary like for kids my age kids younger older like this is a scary time these are scary things that are happening so that's kind of where I came from with the song, like my fear of losing my life for the color of my skin. And then um, like when I started to record the video, I more so wanted to express like the anger that I started to feel and how I don't want to. And so that's just, it kind of evolved over time the more I got into the song. Wow, that's what's up. So what, what are some other um, songs that you have? Are they available for people to stream or is that the one that you have right now? That's my main one right now. I did release two singles earlier, but <laughs> though they're not my favorites anymore. I have okay. two singles that I released earlier. One is called Time Off and one is called Truly Me. So Time Off by R.E.D. and Truly Me by R.E.D. You can find those on all streaming platforms as well. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a very difficult question. You ready for this? Okay, yes, I'm ready. All right. Acting or singing? If you have I can to answer that. You I cannot pick. answer that. I can't pick because both of them are like amazing for like different oh. reasons yeah. and like and some of them the same reason. I cannot pick. I, you know, I figured you were going to say that. But I was like, mm, let me let me test the waters and see. <laughs> no, I, I can't pick between those at all because I can't have one without the other personally. Oh, that's that that's real that's real so what is your goal what what is your goal as an as an actress as a a singer uh where where do you see yourself well my biggest goal and biggest aspirations are to inspire people because like just growing up i've always wanted to have certain people like or i have like a select few people that i can look up to but i was like i want to be one of those people for somebody i want to inspire people of color i want to inspire young girls i want to inspire people who feel like they're isolated, they're different from someone else for something they can't control. Like I wanna be able to inspire people like that and be an outlet for people, people can relate to me. That's one of my biggest goals. And then also a big part of this is just taking what I love and showing people that you can do what you love and not conform, not change who you are and still be successful. Like I don't wanna change who I am in any way or like have, feel like I'm obligated to do certain things just because like, oh, I want to be successful. I want to make money, whatever. I want to show people that it's possible to do that. And then more specifically, I just want to build a larger platform so people can, more people can hear my message and hear what I have to say. Nice. Well, listen, I wish you nothing but the best, nothing but prosperity, nothing but love, light and peace and happiness for you and everything that you have going. I think that's amazing. Thank you. Um, I think it's so great to see a young girl like yourself who looks like yourself that is doing so many amazing things because we need that, you know, and I say we, we need that. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. <laughs> yes. So, so what's next? Um, is there anything else that you have coming up this year? The year just got started, 2021. I know you guys are in a new season now of all that. 
Um, well, we're not filming right now, but hopefully we'll get, when things get a little safer, we will be able to pick up. Okay. So did you have to relocate to California? Um, I did temporarily, but we can't, I came back to Georgia for the quarantine. While oh, you're in I, Georgia. Yes, I am. Okay. I'm in Atlanta. Look at that. Small oh, wow. So am I. Oh, yeah. See, look, small world, small world, right? <laughs> Awesome. So what, what do you have, what else do you have coming up for the rest of the year? Well, this year I am releasing my debut album. So that's what I've been working on so far um, at the end of 20, thank you, at the end of 2020 and still to now. So I'm going to release that this year and it's going to just show who I am and who I'm becoming and maturity. And it's just very important to me. So I'm very excited for that. I'm going to still be posting on social media and things like that. So like, you can make sure you follow me at it's Aria Brooks everywhere so that you can keep up with everything I'm doing because it's kind of things change pretty frequently, honestly. So, That's true. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for, for being here on Your Girl TV and being in this moment with me. And again, best of luck to you and everything that you have going and excited to hear this album, this project. Thank you. you know the name? Thank you. I do, but I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, I can't give us a name. It's okay. I, I know your fans are going to be excited either way. So, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun.